The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Atlanta Braves vs. New York Mets Colorado Rockies vs. Los Angeles Angels and Houston Astros vs. Seattle Mariners, which are happening on Monday, July 26, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. The Mets are playing well, winning 5 out of their last 7 games, including a series win against a high-scoring Blue Jays team. The Braves remain inconsistent and have only won 2 out of their last 5 clashes overall. Braves starter Bryce Wilson is not a reliable option. The right-hander surrendered five runs in his latest big league outing last month and owns a terrible 5.68 ERA. Furthermore, the Mets are consistently producing, averaging a stellar 5.6 runs in their last 10 games overall. The Braves played well over the past week, and they've won three of their last five games. They are four games behind the Mets in the NL East and will try to make up some ground with a win on Monday night, which will give them their fourth win in their last six games. Atlanta is averaging 4.81 runs per game. Their .241 batting average is 14th in the league. Their .323 on base percentage is 10th, while their .429 slugging percentage is 6th. Freddie Freeman leads Atlanta with a .293 batting average. Ronald Acuna Jr. leads the team with 24 home runs, while Ozzy Albies leads the team with 66 RBI. Atlanta's pitching isn't as good as the team's offense. Opponents have a .242 batting average against the Braves, which is 17th in the league. Their 4.17 ERA is 15th, while their 1.32 whip is 16th. New York is using their bullpen for the nightcap due to the influx of injuries to the pitching staff. Overall the Mets' bullpen has been reliable. They rank 15th in the big leagues with a 4.12 ERA. Jared Eikhoff has made a few spot starts and could be an option. The right-hander owns a poor 4.96 ERA, but he did toss four scoreless innings against the Braves. Corey Oswalt, who features a 3.48 ERA, could also be used. My betting advice for that game is to pick the New York Mets on the money line. Colorado has their ace on the mound in Marquez, but the fact that the Rockies are on the road tempers expectations a bit. We have seen how dismal the Rockies are on the road this season, as their 10-35 record entering Sunday's game attests to. The Rockies have major offensive woes when it comes to playing away from Coors Field, and dealing with a dual threat like Atani is going to present a challenge for Colorado. Los Angeles is trying to battle their way into the Al Wild card race, and taking advantage of mediocre teams is their best course of action to accomplish that. The Rockies have struggled across the board this season and have lost five of the eight games since returning from the All-Star break, but if there's an opportunity to turn things around, it's with their best starting pitcher in German Marquez. Marquez has allowed 48 runs in 20 starts while tossing 119 strikeouts. Moreover, Marquez is only allowing a .236 expected opponent batting average, a .348 expected opponent slugging percentage, and a 3.68 expected ERA, which is among the top of the league for starting pitchers. Los Angeles took two of the first three games of their road set with the Twins as they prevailed Saturday. The Angels entered Sunday fourth in the Al West, 11 games behind the Astros for the top spot. In the Al wild card picture, the team stood 6.5 games behind the A's for the second wild card spot. On Saturday night, it was all about pitching for the Angels as they earned the win. Los Angeles got two of their four hits from Shohei Atani, run, and did just enough offensively to muster a win. Patrick Sandoval, 3-4, earned the win after throwing 8.2 innings, allowing one run on one hit with one walk and 13 strikeouts. He had a no-hitter broken up with one out in the ninth. Raisa Iglesias gave up a hit, but fanned Miguel Sano with a tying run on second base to earn his 21st save. Shohei Itani makes his 15th start of the season on the mound for the Angels in this contest.
he comes in 4-1 with a 3.21 ERA, a 1.164 whip, 36 walks and 95 strikeouts over 73 innings of action this season. Atani didn't factor in the decision in his last start, which came last Monday on the road against the A's. He threw six innings, allowing no runs on three hits with one walk and eight strikeouts in a game the Angels eventually lost 4-1. Atani is 3-0 with a 1.87 ERA, a 1.177 whip, 22 walks and 54 strikeouts over 43.1 innings in 8 starts at home this season. In his 27th career major league start, he pitches against the Rockies for the first time. Atani is 5-1 with a 2.25 ERA, a 1.153 whip, 36 walks and 94 strikeouts over 72 innings in 14 career starts at Angel Stadium. My betting advice for that game is to pick Los Angeles Angels. The Astros have emerged victorious in nine of Luis Garcia's last 11 starts, and I'm expecting this betting trend to continue. Garcia is still young and will have ups and downs in the next two months, but he should be fine in this matchup. Luis already met the Mariners in April and played well. On the other side, Darren McCoggan will make his first big league start against the powerful Astros team. I'm looking for the visitors' offense to make the difference, although the Mariners' bullpen has been terrific as of late. The Houston Astros have to be considered to be one of the best defenses in baseball, as they rank second with a .773 ops this season. They are scoring runs at will as this season they are averaging 5.35 runs per game. Houston has the highest route ops at .781 and are scoring an incredible 5.57 runs away from Minute Maid Park. The offense has been led by designated hitter Jordan Alvarez, as he finished with an .866 ops with 18 home runs and 63 RBI. If they can continue to hit as well as they have this season, they should have no problem here. The Seattle Mariners have won four of their last six games, excluding Sunday's home clash against Oakland. However, over their last five outings, the Mariners have scored just 19 runs, while posting a bad .681 ops, and an even worse batting average of .205. Seattle beat the Athletics 5-4 this past Saturday to improve to 53-46 on the season. The M's also closed the gap a bit, trailing just two and a half games behind the A's, who hold the bottom wild card in the American League. The Mariners' pitching staff has recorded a 4.14 ERA in July, 14th in the majors, but their bullpen has been outstanding, tallying the fourth lowest ERA in baseball this month, 2.86. Rookie Darren McCoggan will get his first MLB starting call Monday, and the 25-year-old right-hander had his debut last Wednesday, tossing five frames of a one-run ball at Coors Field. Interestingly, he finished without a single strikeout, but he also allowed no hits while walking three. My betting advice for that game is to pick the Houston Astros. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.